good to see you again, Norman. Yeah. I missed your company. Yeah, Anna. No, seriously. I'm... Well, I'm, I'm seriously saying that as well. And you know what? We've. I think some people think that we've abandoned the idea of doing this documentary and telling Lucas' story, but they're wrong. I mean, I never, you know, when you told me when we were first talking that these things take time, I never thought that this would be the case, but... Why didn't you? Because I, you know, it's my nature. I want to do everything just like that, and very quickly, I'm impatient, I'm, you know, I'm spontaneous and all of that. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know that for, I mean, forget about the business of doing a documentary, which you know professionally. But I thought that I was, I needed to get it out of my system right away. But after doing the website and after we started doing a little bit of, you know, shooting and I got stuck. I couldn't even think about him, let alone do something about him or with him. So it was a great idea that, you know, you introduced me to Helen, in whose house we're now going. So, so Helen, how did you meet her then, basically? Uh, it was your idea. You had met her and you mentioned that there was someone that I might enjoy or at least, you know, benefit from meeting. And Helen, Helen is an amazing person because I lost one son, she did two. She lost two boys and I, and she has three more kids. So, I mean, it, it was, I didn't know that, you know, I would meet such an amazing person. And, and of course, you know, it's, it's always difficult with, to talk to people who doesn't know anything about these things. And it's, it's a completely different thing to talk to someone to live through this, and then, you know, it's like these stories of plane crash, you know, they tell you that, okay, your plane crashed once, it will never happen again. And that was the thing that I was wondering, you know, and Helen was told when she had the second son in hospital, in, uh, his life was in danger, and said, it will never happen again, and then it did. So then that helps you to put things into perspective. So. See if she's at home then. But you also said in the car, you asked yourself, how, how can she deal with all this? Hi! Hey! Welcome! See? Oh. I don't know. I will ask her, how should does she deal with this? I really don't know. <laughs> so we were talking about you and your story. Uh -huh. Hi, Helen. Hey! How are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Good. You, your kids were in the same, same kindergarten, right? That's yeah. how you met. Yeah. Ah, mm. And one, one handsome guy is here oh, now. Hi, Sebastian. Sebastian. Hi. You're how a movie are you, star. Sebastian? What have you been doing? Karate or? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. So let's talk. Thank you for. Having us. Come on in. Ah, you've had the tacos. Eh? You had tacos. You had a taco night. Taco night. Okay. We have meat in Swedish or in Sweden. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sebastian, you're interested. Thanks, Sebastian. <sighs> yeah. So, uh, 